Soldering is one of the most important skills when it comes to building a quad or doing repairs. So let me walk you through the basics. First, let's look at the tools. You need a soldering iron, solder, a cleaner of some sort, and ideally some flux. The temperature you set is going to depend on the joint you're soldering. If it's a small pad like this, 400 degrees should work well. And for bigger pads like these, you'll need to go to 450 degrees. Now let's focus on attaching a motor cable as an example. First, you wanna put your soldering iron on the pad. You wanna make sure that it's not touching anything else and you wanna push your solder into the pad till it starts melting. What you're trying to do here is heat the pad enough so you melt the solder with the pad, not the iron directly. That being said, I have found that touching the soldering iron briefly will begin the melting process faster as the hot solder can actually cover the pad. Once it starts melting, keep feeding it solder till you have a nice round blob. Covering a joint in solder like this is called tinning. Next, let's look at the wire that you're connecting. We're going to tin this as well, so first expose one to two millimeters of the wire by stripping it. Now to tin the cables, we're just gonna add some solder to the tip of the iron and then just paint this onto the cable. You only need a tiny bit of solder on the wire, so once it melts over, pull away the solder. The solder has a tendency to run down the cable if you put too much, causing it to make a stiff wire. It's not a problem, but it's just not ideal. Finally, to make the joint, place the wire on top like this and then push down slightly with the soldering iron. You should be able to push the wire into that blob and now you have your joint. For bigger joints, if it's not melting like this, you may need to rub your soldering iron on the joint to transfer more heat. If your blob looks like this with a sharp point, you need to either apply more heat so it doesn't attach to the iron when you pull away, or apply flux to the joint to help the solder flow better.